If control structures are a great way to perform logic in a script. They are quite simple. They test a condition, and if the result of the test is true, they do something. If you haven't yet reviewed the video on test conditions, please do so before proceeding. Let's build an example. We will test if a file exists and is a regular file, not a directory. And if so, we will ls the contents. Here is the if statement shown in the terminal. Note that we create a variable to store the file name in and use the variable later in the program. This is a good habit to get into because it allows us to later change the name of the file in one place rather than all over in the script. It also allows us to maybe assign a positional parameter to the variable as we refine the script. Also note that we quote the variable when we use it so it is safe in case of spaces in the file name. <clears throat> As for the if syntax, this is the simplest form we have. One test, and if it's true, then the commands in the then section get processed. If it was false, then nothing else happens, the if statement gets exited, and the script goes on. The closing syntax for the if statement is fi. Next, we can add something to do if the condition is not true. This is done with else. Here we add an else to the control structure and echo a message to the user letting them know that the test condition was false. Next we can add another test condition to run if the first test is false. This is an elif. The next test uh, will then be tested and if true, the then under it will run. Otherwise it goes on to the else or if there is another elif, it will go on to that test condition. Here is our code with the elif added. Now we will test to see if the file is a directory. When I run it, I will first delete the existing file so it doesn't meet the first criteria, and then create the directory so that it does match. Here is the code with the second elif added. This makes a third test in this control structure. This time we added the condition above the directory test and added a compound condition. This will force it to be a directory and end in the text.txt using pattern globbing. 